Hey, it's Philip, and let's talk about anime. I'm a weeaboo. Now, anime, or the art form formerly known as Japanimation, which I think is a little bit of a cooler, you know, name, but that's a topic for another day. Um, is an art form uh, that is normally done via hand-drawn or computer-generated uh, animation. Now, if you want to start watching some of this stuff, I gotta say, there's a lot of it. Like, I myself have just barely scratched the surface of, you know, what's available. Doesn't matter how many seasons or episodes are I finish, they're gonna make just infinitely more. Like, it's never gonna stop, ever. Now, there are many genres in the anime scene. Uh, there's comedy, horror, the classic shonen, even giant robots seem to have their own genre. But today we're gonna be talking about mystery. Now, a while back, my cameraman, uh, Gomaro, suggested that I should watch this show that he, he said is pretty good. And, you know, after several weeks of, you know, putting it off and watching other shows, doing other stuff, I actually decided, decided to start watching it. And after another month and a half of procrastinating the show even more, I, you know, actually finished it. And overall thoughts? Hey, that's pretty good. If you don't know what we're talking about today, the show in question is The Promised Neverland. So, let's talk about it. Now, before we start, I want to say I'm not really much of a reviewer. You know, this is all just, you know, opinions. Uh, so, take it with a grain of salt. Um, you might like the show, you might hate the show, but hey, that's your opinion. That's totally fine. I'm just giving my thoughts on it just because, hey, I like the show. So, you know, I, I, you know, I, I do care about reviews and whatnot. I mean, don't get me wrong, but, you know, at least I'm not like one of those people who just buys, you know, products. You know, without really giving it much foresight, you know, like, you know, buying the same product, you know, year after year, you know, very little things changing. And, you know, without even looking at reviews or even like, hey, do I really need yet another copy of blank franchise? So I just want to put that out there and just say, hey, this is my video, so yeah. So the show takes place in the year 2045 in an orphanage housing nearly 40 kids all being cared for by their caretaker simply known as Mother or Isabella if you want to be formal. The show follows three of uh, premium quality children in the orphanage. First is Emma, the cheerful one who loves just about everything and anybody in her line of sight and is guaranteed to always be smiling, an ability I no longer seem to be able to achieve. Second is Norman, the prodigy with an IQ so high he already has gray hair at the ripe age of 11. Jesus. The kid is also quite the tactician when it comes in handy during games of tag and other future events. And last but not least, we have Ray, who is the quiet introvert who prefers to read a book away from the other kids who will help around the house and socialize on occasion. So, you know, I automatically identify with this kid from the very start. Now, I don't want to give a lot of details on the show just because I want to preserve the mystique of the plot for anybody who might be interested in the series so far. But, you know, I'll try my best, you know, just to be as vague as possible. Now, mystery is the name of the game here. You'll be asking yourself a lot of questions pretty much from start to finish. The show does answer some of these and leaves others to be, you know, just kind of ambiguous or open to interpretation. Or, you know, possibly to be revealed at a later episode or even the next season entirely. Now this show has plenty of suspense, intrigue, and some cliffhanger endings, which all of which will help you, you know, want to binge the whole series in one sitting. Which frankly, if you have the time, I would highly recommend. Just don't do what I did and let the power of procrastination ruin the flow of the plot. Which, I mean, it still came out good, but it would have been so much better if I could just do it all at once. At this time, there's only one season currently available, which you can watch it uh, subbed on Hulu or, you know, other means if you're living the pirate's life. Now, if you finish all the episodes and you want to really know what happens next, I believe there is still the manga, which kind of continues the story. And, you know, you could just read it and spoil what happens to, you know, your friends and whatnot. Kind of like I did with Gamaro, so they, they, my bad, man. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's the show. Overall... Pretty, pretty awesome. And I wish I could give it much more praise than it rightfully deserves, but in my opinion, you just gotta go check it out and watch it yourself. Now, this is the first, you know, video in a series of just videos I want to talk about certain stuff that I think is just neat or, you know, something I feel like more people should know about. 
Now, don't get me wrong, there's other channels out there who can do a way better job at analyzing the hidden themes in, in some shows or movies or analyzing why a show from your childhood actually wasn't as good as you remember. All sorts of stuff, but you know, this is just my opinion, my take, so let's, let's see where the series goes. Also, with uh, everything that I review, I want to give it a rating, you know, just simple 10 out of 10 top of deal situation. And uh, I gotta, you know, state that this is the internet, so if you disagree, it is my opinion. But if you really feel the need to tell me, just go in the comments section and, you know, very calmly with plenty of respect and absolutely no swearing, tell me what I was wrong. Yeah, just... that's, that's gonna be a no for me, dude. Like, this is YouTube. That's not how it works at all. Yeah, that's pretty. That's... That's a pretty bad idea. Final rating for The Promised Neverland is going to be a 9 out of 10. A definitely uh, go check it out, dude. You'll definitely will not regret it. Words from my cameraman himself. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you liked it. Um, next time I'll review something different, a different anime, different show, movie, or game. You know, whatever it may be. Whatever comes to mind. I mean, I might I might mess around and review, uh, you know, best peanut butter brands or, you know, whatever, whatever comes to mind. You never know. Also, um, I want to say uh, I got a new set just for this video. Um, I thought it was full of you guys, you know. Uh, in all honesty, just my brother went to vac went on vacation. He went to Vegas, and I took it upon myself to break into his house and film a video without his permission. Which I probably shouldn't admit that, but you know, uh, you know that's family, I guess. <laughs> and uh, also, want to say I do plan on making more videos. Obviously, but um, it's kind of hard to do so with this current laptop that I have. It's not very good. It's um, it, it, it's it was the three hundred dollar HP laptop special I got from Best Buy back in like twenty fifteen. So it, it's 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 basically potato mode now, and it takes me forever to edit and all this stuff. I am getting some parts for to build a good computer, a powerful computer. So hopefully that will allow me to make some better videos. So that'll be that'll be pretty interesting. See where that goes. Also, I want to thank my cameraman today, which was a uh, a a bottle of or a whole uh, bottle of um, whey protein, I guess, um, by a regular cameraman who, who thankfully you know recommended me the show and you know told me about it. Gamaro was not available today, so I had to use uh, something that has a lot more protein than he does. And if you're watching this, then you definitely understand that joke. I'm just kidding. You do you. But again, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm gonna go and eat wings now with some friends and uh, drink plenty of water. All right, so there you go. Got pluckers there. I'm here with my my friends here in the in the room. How, how you guys doing? Yeah, she had to go to the hospital. Dude, who the fuck? Dude, how'd you get in my room? What do you mean? We went to go get wings. Dude, Remember? Get the no. Fuck out of here, man. How'd you get in here?